can't talk to broke boys. Hey y'all, happy Friday. Um, I'm at the mall right now because I'm about to do a return. So I have these jeans, y'all. These jeans are gorgeous. I post these on my communities. Y'all, I want to keep these jeans so bad, but these jeans don't have stretch and they run small. So if you're a curvy girl, the largest size these jeans come in is a 14. This is a 12, y'all. I wish, and they're high-waisted. I'm going to be stalking a website so I can get these in a... 14 this is a 12 and they don't even go up my butt so i want to try a 14 but y'all know the large sizes girl they be gone first so i'm about to return these because they were like 60 dollars i don't believe that i thought i paid like 89 dollars for these jeans whatever either way i want my money back so we at the mall as i leave the mall i'm about to go work out and tonight i'm going live with you guys so i need to do my makeup and kind of like prepare for that so I need to get my day started and it's about to rain. So I want to do all of these things outside before it start raining. So let's go. Right. Okay. Yeah. 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 I don't feel like I need it. Not my fingernail just popping off. Cut. And guess what? When I get home, I'm gonna glue her right back on. So I have to make a little pit stop home. Girl, I forgot today was the 15th. So on today first of all i was supposed to be going to a boxing class at my gym that i've been wanting to try this instructor and i was gonna go try a little boxing class to switch it up uh-uh we're gonna go to the gym in my building today because from two to four it is 151 a girl was driving i said uh-uh i bust the u-turn today my building is doing like a giveaway so anybody to the residents who come from two to four they're doing like giveaways and they have a they're giving away rent credit. I said, yeah, I'm going to be there. I know they expected me to come anyway because they do like on National Daiquiri Day, they give out daiquiris. Pizza Day, they give out pizza. Taco Day, they do all type of stuff down there. Yeah, I'm feeling lucky. I'm going to get me a rent credit, okay? So I'm I'm not leaving this apartment, so I go downstairs. Girl, on Pizza Day, I went and it has so many different boxes of pizza. So I'm looking like, I said, nobody ain't coming down here. She was like, girl, nobody haven't been coming. I said, can I have a whole box? I was so greedy out of pizza, was so good. I went back on National Taco Day and towed down, okay? So yeah, I know they expected me because anytime they're giving away something at, down there, I'm going, I'm going to get it. Because I got to pass y'all up to go to the uh, gym anyway. So of course, I'm going to stop. So today, I don't want no lucky Irish t-shirt. I don't want no cupcake. You can save the cookies, baby. Y'all can keep all that. Give me a rent credit because that's what I'm here for, okay? Me and my sister have been talking about this all month. So just now when I saw the date, yeah, let's go get this credit. All right, y'all, I made it to the gym and I got the bag. So we're about to see if we have a rent credit. I'm nervous because I don't never win nothing. Like, let me sit y'all here. She told me there's a ticket. If you win, there's a ticket. So go. You mean, go. Wait, wait, uh-uh. You mean to tell me I just got candy that I can't even eat? That's some bullshit. Now I'm in my damn feelings. I can't even eat this candy. setting up for live and guess who's not here stephanie of course of course she's late but i text her and i said if she's not here by seven i'm not going downstairs to get her i did that one time and i'm not doing it no more is to me it's just tacky and unprofessional so i don't know if y'all gonna get stuff today 
yeah, she's not going to make it. So, y'all ain't getting stuff today because I'm not going to interrupt my live to go downstairs. I told this girl all week what time I was going live. She didn't come, so... Oh my god, I forgot to press back on my nail. I don't have time, but yeah, I'll see y'all on live. Hey y'all. Hey girlfriends. When I tell you I read your comment this week and you said something, when I saw Booski, baby, I was weak, okay? <laughs> Hold on, I think I hear Stephanie clicking and clacking up the hall. What kind of shoes she got on? I gotta go to rush the job. What's happening? All right, y'all. So it is. 10 30 girl Steph is finally gone I don't know if I even told y'all we was um I made home made sure she got home safely hopefully you guys watch the live I'm actually re-watching the live now and I have so much anxiety so many people be like gee you need to relax you need to just calm down y'all don't understand okay if I let her go she's gonna go so no I don't care what y'all say gee you're too uptight you need to relax no 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 we're not doing that over here so Mm, it is what it is okay i gotta regulate okay but i made sure she's home safe and sound and now i guess i'm about to clean up hello hold on so i'm about to finish watching this live to make sure i want to keep it up i don't think it was horrible she, ooh, she, but yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow i'm very proud of myself that i did not drink i did not i'm still sipping on my kombucha and i'm gonna clean up and then tomorrow i'll see you guys because i want to go to like the st patrick's day parade i want to see if i can run out to target in the morning to give me like a little st pat st patrick's day like little festive headband and stuff and then fix my nail so i'll see y'all tomorrow hey y'all happy saturday for some reason i cannot stay asleep like last night i went to sleep at 3 a.m and my body naturally wakes up at eight so I'm always running off of four to five hours of sleep and it's just like it's not working so I don't know if I told you I was doing an IV drip today this morning for nine they sent me an email saying that they had to evacuate their building yesterday and they haven't had permission to go back into the building I guess they had some type of gas leak or something or some type of leak and I had, they had to cancel the appointment so I'm not doing that because I don't really know where else to go. There's multiple places I could go, but I'm not going because I wanted to go there. But right now I'm about to go out to get water because I have no water in here. And I'm about to go for a walk because I don't have energy to go to the gym this morning. I'm making a quick stop to Kills because they have their family and friends going on. And I'm about to run out of my favorite moisturizer. And I've already run out one of the turmeric brightening mask so i want to go stop and get that and i was thinking about getting some of their vitamin c so let's go Alright y'all, so I'm on my way out the door. This is what I'm wearing. Hold on. Hopefully y'all can see me. Okay, so I have on hat, Fendi sunglasses, white tank from Zara. These very comfortable sweats from Target. I love, I hope the lighting is good. I love the fact that these always make me look put together and I don't really have on nothing. My Saint Laurent sac du jour so I can do a crossbody and I'm gonna just throw on my Gucci slides. Now the funny thing is this, I'm going to a St. Patrick's Day party and I don't have on nothing green. Y'all, all of my green is like long sleeve and it's, it's not hot outside, but I don't want anything long sleeve on. So 
this is the vibe i'll see you guys outside i think i should take another battery because this battery always die this is literally why i do not drive anywhere y'all i've never been to the saint patrick's party i just never go y'all it's so packed oh my god it's nowhere to park i low-key want to go bring my car back home and just uber because this is wild like i'm sorry this is legit wild there's nowhere to park and this is killing my vibe good things come to those who pray okay so i am literally a block away from the parade route it took me a while i've been in the car for 43 minutes but something told me don't give up turn back around and go to the other side i am a block away from magazine so in a block away from where i need to be so we're good i just ordered some shrimp fried rice from the um sake place so i'm about to pick that up and thank god oh i don't know if i told y'all i'm going to meet Armand. so let's go he's a slut he's a hoe he's a freak he's a slut he's a hoe he's a freak this is my type of parade okay it was like a, a see mardi gras is like you know everybody having fun but this was literally like a, a drink fest i wasn't drinking so i'm very sober but it was fun okay girl i forgot this was here um i had fun so i'm on my way home it's 5 26 i want to do a workout today so i'm gonna go home chill for a little while and i may go to the gym like 6 30 so Whatever I do, I will see you guys a little later. I wanted to go out. Um, I may link up with Stephanie. I don't really know because I don't want to overdo it. I just kind of like want to chill and rest, but I had fun. <laughs> Two thirty, so I'm still in bed. When I woke up, I don't know if y'all can hear it. It's raining so hard outside. Let me see. Hopefully y'all can hear that. It is literally raining, and something about hearing the rain on my window pane, baby. I cannot get out the bed. <laughs> I can't. So I did get up. I fixed like a breakfast. I think I had my green tea, and I had a, so a slice of sourdough toast with peanut butter because i'm not that i'm usually not that hungry in the morning but all of the plans that i have for today out the window because today i really wanted if it was pretty i wanted to go to the park if you've been watching my vlogs y'all know i've been outside real heavy if you've been watching my stories on instagram i try to go to the park and get out and sit on the grass at least twice a week so today i wanted to go get crawfish we we're gonna have like a little picnic outside and i wanted to go buy a kite when i was a kid growing up in the 90s if you could fly a kite you was like that was like a flex so i've been going to the park on on the weekends on on pretty days and i will see all of these kids flying a kite y'all and my inner child she wants to fly a kite and one thing about me i'm going to cater to my inner child so i'm going to buy her i was going to buy her a kite i'm still going to do this but not today and we're going to go fly a kite i'm about to go to the gym I have been real consistent in the gym, y'all. So I stepped on the scale this morning and my mouth dropped. Like, I, I, 
I'm so proud of myself. So today I stepped on the scale and I am four pounds away from my first goal. I have three weight loss goals and I'm four pounds away from the first one. The first one, I can't lie, it was the hardest uh, one to reach because it was just taking so long. But I have been real consistent, y'all. So I stepped on the scale today and I'm four pounds away. So if you are in the gym, girl, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Back from the gym. Oh my God, what time is it? Yeah, those three miles wore me out. It is 5.30. Um, I just got a, I was about to leave the uh, house, but I just got a, I am out of breath, hold on. I just got a flood warning that it's raining and it's flooding. For some reason, when it rains here, girl, it floods. You will look like you living in the swamp, okay? So I don't think I wanna leave home because I don't wanna get stuck anywhere. So everything that I needed to do, I could just probably do that tomorrow. I wanted to go to Best Buy. And I needed to go get box dye. But y'all know in this vlog I was telling y'all I could not sleep. Girl, my sleep has been like a mess. I'm sleeping like four hours. After the parade yesterday, I literally came home. I did not go anywhere. Took a shower, laid in bed, and allowed myself to relax. And next thing I know, I fell asleep, y'all. And I slept all night. I didn't get up to use the bathroom. Nothing. I woke up this morning at seven and then i went back to sleep and then woke up again at 11. i said oh my god i feel well rested and i feel energized so i love that for me and hopefully i can have another day like that today so so for dinner i'm eating this flatbread pepperoni pizza that i made from trader joe's all of the ingredients i get from trader joe's um i buy flatbread instead of like pizza crust and i love this i'm about to add some basil and yeah y'all it is later i'm about to do some skincare if you watched a few vlogs ago when i went to victoria's secret y'all remember i got this candle oh i also took my nails off i got this candle and i told y'all i hate vanilla y'all this candle this is like my bathroom candle it is amazing for like relaxation and it says relax on it babes you need this girl because this have my bathroom smelling like a five-star hotel spa it is like top tier so y'all know yesterday i went to kills mm -hmm. i'm actually gonna go back this week because there's a few more products that i think i want to add i didn't have time to really dive deep and look into all of the things that i wanted but let me just show y'all half of all of my i'm looking at my drawer i'm going to say 80 percent of my skincare is kills but yesterday First thing first, I got the Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. I ran out the other one. I don't have any more, so I needed to re-up. And I always re-up anytime they have a sale. And I really went into the store for the turmeric and Cranberry Seed Radiance Mask. And I re-upped on my Ultra Face Cream. Mm-hmm. Because this one right here, she's... Can y'all see this? It's almost nothing in there. We have a little corner.
skincare and the skin is skinning yes so y'all saw me put um the Neutrogena daily even first of all girl it's discontinued but I had an extra bottle laying around the house and I only use that when I get like dark spots when I went on vacation early in the year my nails I was um I was ATVing and I scratched myself with my own nail in my face and it left a dark mark. So I've been fading it with this dark cream. So, well, with the fading cream from Neutrogena, which I don't know why they always discontinue the good stuff. Because when I tell y'all, that was the best cream or face moisturizer to even out your skin tone and fade dark marks. And to this day, I have yet to find anything beating it. So I only use it for like when I get dark spots but anyways when i was doing my skincare i was just like vibing to some music when i was doing my skincare i was vibing out to some music and i was listening to i was on somebody's um de jour hey de jour if you're watching um i was on his his close friends and they was playing trina here we go with kelly Rowland. girl i started blasting that song when i tell y'all i had to sit down for a second i'm like wait i'm listening to the you know how you know a song but when you start listening to the lyrics it's like it took me back to my childhood or when I was younger. I'm like, why was me and my sister singing this? Like, I'm talking about singing to the top of our lungs. Like, we just knew what we were talking about. And then, as an adult now, listening to it, I'm like, dang. And I thought back to when I would see, like, my auntie or older cousin or, like, my mom or somebody listening to that song. I was like, hmm, wait. It, it all started rushing back to me. I'm like, wait. The girls were going through heartbreak. I'm like, oh my God. But when I start listening, first of all, why is somebody calling somebody's man at 3 a.m.? And what you gonna tell me she's just a friend for? Do I look stupid to you? It's 3 a.m. What do a friend gotta tell you at 3 a.m.? Come on now. Uh-uh. The thing that gagged me, sis so said, any debts I can pay the price. I thought I was a chick, you would make your wife. And now I can't even stay the night. So wait a minute. You over here paying debts for people and you can't even spend the night at their house? Girl. What was Trina going through? Tell me something. She the baddest beat. Girl. The lyrics. I had to pull up the lyrics for this. Because I was like, and she said, no more quarter to eights. You better hop on a bus or a cab. He ain't have no car. How we the baddest beat and we you know, with no car? What? Wait, where? How? Uh-uh. The lyrics gagged me. I shed so many tears. Can't believe how many years the baddest B put up with your dusty ass. Sis, at that point, you got to look in the mirror and ask yourself, what was I doing? Because you you paying his bills. You can't spend a night at his house. He got somebody calling him at 3 a.m. And he ain't got a car because he got to catch the bus or a cab. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I'd rather be single. Okay? Because where they do that at? But anyways, girl, that's all I really got for this little vloggy vlog. All of the cute little plans that we were going to do today, you guys are going to just have to see that in another vlog. So I'm not even about to sit here and try to drag this thing out. That's all I got for you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, like, share, comment, subscribe, and I will see you girls in the next one.